Hi, I'm Dick with Emtra. Today we're going to talk about the differences between horizontal windlasses versus vertical windlasses. The windlass on my right here is a Mir Cougar. It's a horizontal windlass. You know that because the main shaft is going horizontally across the windlass. An advantage of a windlass like this is everything is up on deck. The motor is housed inside the housing and uh, so you don't take up any room in your anchor locker and uh, easy, easy installation. On my left here is a vertical windlass, Low Friends Project 1500. In a vertical windlass, the shaft is mounted vertically now where the motor is kept below deck uh, in the anchor locker. An advantage of a vertical windlass is the fact that you get a 180 degree wrap around the chain wheel before it comes through the hose pipe and put down into your anchor locker. It works extremely well for rope and chain combination uh, anchor systems and as you can see here the sprung loaded finger will keep the rope pushed into the chain wheel so it can grab onto it and bring it all in. On a, on a horizontal windlass you have the chain coming in here you're only getting about a 90 degree wrap so you're only getting three pockets to hold the chain uh, and they're, these are really designed for chain only anchor systems versus uh, one like this which works quite well with rope and chain. You can buy a vertical windlass with the capstan like this up on top and that gives you some extra um, equipment up forward to wrap a line around to bring in maybe it'll work independently of the uh, chain wheel and so you can bring in a crab pot or pull in your dock lines or anything like that. Um, both windlasses operate power up and power down and these windlasses will also free fall to let your anchor deploy very very quickly. If you have any questions please contact us here at EMTRA and we'll be happy to help you out.